Hi, I'm Nick Ward with Ward Laboratories, and today we're going to go over uh, some tips and tricks on, on taking soil samples for managing uh, fertility in our fields. Uh, today I brought with me some different supplies. Uh, with soil probes, we have some oak field apparatus probes in stock uh, that we can uh, provide to people at, at cost. Uh, we have a couple different variations, a 12-inch bucket, which is just so this is going to take a 12-inch core, or an 18-inch bucket. Uh, we try to recommend people stick with the 12 because as you can see, if you get in a high clay soil really compacted and you start leaning on us, you tend to, tend to break this over. So this is what the soil probe will look like when you get, have it all together. Uh, for this one, we've got a foot peg to help, uh, help give us some extra, extra leverage. Additionally, when we want to think about uh, on high clay content soils, you know, they're sticky. Uh, we have some different choices for lubricants maybe to help, help get that soil out of the probe. Uh, a big, uh, big go-to is just some WD-40, uh, just taking it and, uh, you know, a, a, a generous coat on the, on the inside and the outside of the probe is, is all that you need. Now, if you're going to be doing some soil sampling with the Haney test, uh, we, we start to be worried about uh, water-soluble carbon forms. Uh, for that, we, we have some recommendations to go to this. This is a, a silicone-based spray. It has some, uh, uh, some carbon in it as, as solvents, but that should be very uh, volatile. And so as soon as it gets in the atmosphere, it'll, it'll dr be driven off and we won't be polluting our soil sample we'll be taking. So it's critical to think about when we're sampling about making sure that we take samples from in rows and between the rows, because we don't know, you know, sometimes if you have a long-term mystery in the field, you know what's going on uh, as far as starter fertilizer or broadcast strip till, banding. But what if we're in a field where we don't know the history? What if we're in a field like this one where we see uh, soybeans drilled 15 inches on center? We also have the corn residue in here, so we know there's 30 inch corn. Uh, how do we tackle this, uh, this scenario? Soils are variable, even in this short distance here. We wanna think about large variation across the field, but even in this 30 inch cross section, we can have a lot of variability. So the, the goal of this sampling is to demonstrate that and it's also to drive home the point of why we need to be taking uh, as many cores as we can when we get to the field. We know it's a, it's a pain to take more cores, uh, but really for good data, the more cores the better. 